He was the U.S. government's most lethal sniper, the man they turned to to take out terrorists in Iraq. But tonight, Chris Kyle, a highly decorated former Navy SEAL, is dead. Kyle, along with his friend, were killed at a gun range in Texas. The man charged is a former war vet. Robin Stickley has our top story tonight. He was considered the deadliest sniper in U.S. military history. 38-year-old former Navy SEAL Chris Kyle held a record 150-plus insurgent kills during four deployments to Iraq. Legendary for his deadly precision, on one occasion, Kyle made his mark from nearly two kilometers away. And then about the time I saw he was getting into attack position, raising the RPG, I decided it was time to take the shot. Last night, Kyle and his friend 35-year-old Chad Littlefield were found shot to death at a gun range near Fort Worth, Texas. Police believe military veteran Eddie Ray Ruth gunned the men down and fled. He traveled back to his residence in Lancaster. Uh, Lancaster Police Department um, was able to catch up with him there. Uh, they took him into custody without incident after a brief pursuit. Ruth is facing two counts of murder. The 25-year-old Iraq war veteran suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder was at the range with Kyle and Littlefield as part of a program to help vets deal with battle-related issues. Police say Ruth turned on the men with a semi-automatic handgun, but that a motive isn't clear. A highly decorated veteran, Kyle wrote about his years as an elite sniper. Mission completed. And more recently, took part in the reality TV show, Stars Earn Stripes. And when I found out that all the money raised was going to charity and this was supposed to highlight the military, then I was all in. Well before the TV fame, Kyle was a wanted man in Iraq. Dubbed the devil of Ramadi, there was a well-known bounty on his head. Every person I killed I have a clear conscience of because they were actively trying to harm Americans, allies or the civilians. Last year, Kyle discussed his retirement, explaining it was time to be with his wife and kids. I wanted to make sure that they knew their dad and knew how much I loved them, and it's time for me to step back from the military and give them my all. In the end, a Navy SEAL who made a career putting the enemy in his sights could not have imagined a deadly threat would come from a fellow veteran. Robin Stickley, Global News, Washington.